Hey guys, Tyler here for the Pillow Fort doing a deck tech on my Nekazar as uh, asked by Megan herself. So basically, the and and just an FYI, no, I do not actually use this. I just don't know where my normal one is. Anyway, uh, so uh, basically a quick run through while I'm going through the lands of the kind of player I am. Uh, I like to just make people mad. I mean, not necessarily that, I just, it seems that's the the uh, the way my decks usually go, is just making people mad. Um, and then I, be, I have become accustomed to being the, did you take one life guy? Did you do this? I have to remind people. And I like that kind of thing of kind of slowly draining everybody's life. So, Nekazar, if you didn't know, is at the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws an additional card, and whenever an opponent draws a card, Nekazar the Mind Drazer uh, deals one damage to that player. So this deck, if you have guessed, is kind of about that, of drawing cards and everything. So of course a Reliquary Tower, Command Tower, uh, Crumbling Necropolis, uh, Tainted Peak, a nice little land I found and I like it in there. I have a lot of red and black cards. Uh, Temple of Malice, just because I draw a lot, so I'd like to scry. And then, of course, Dragon Skull, Sulphur Falls, Drowned Catacomb. Um, and then just kind of getting into the cards themselves. Uh, Elixir of Immortality, you have to discard a lot of cards if you don't get that maximum hand size. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, really quick, by all means, I'm not a professional. So, uh, these are all just cards that I kind of built off of and was like, you know what? This would look good. I don't really know. So, definitely tell me what you guys think because I, I, I don't know. Alright, uh, so that's a good one. Venzer's Journal, really crazy good card for this. Uh, I get to gain one life for each card in my hand. Howling Mine, making people draw cards. Uh, Swiftfoot Boots, obviously. Spellbook, maximum hand size is gone. Uh... Glaring Spotlight, just because I ran into a lot of those kind of problems. And then uh, more making people draw cards with Dictate of Crew Fix. Uh, Dictate of Erebos. Whenever a creature I control dies, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Just because, man, this deck makes people want to kill my stuff. <laughs> All the time. Uh, Font of Mythos. Uh, at the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws two additional cards. So it starts off Cool Pillow Fort. And then it slowly turns bad pillow for it. Uh, curse of Thirst, Curse of Shallow Graves, Curse of Echoes, Curse of Bloodletting. Those curses are for when someone starts, like, really trying to go after me. And it's like, okay, maybe I'll tack on a couple curses on you. And if they keep coming, maybe you'll stop at some point. Uh, Propaganda, another really defensive card. So uh, creatures can't attack you unless the controller pays two for each creature that attacks you. I just love that. Spiteful Visions basically does what Nekazar does, but also hurts me, so sometimes I like seeing that, sometimes I don't. Oh, Curse of the Pierced Heart, what are you doing? Uh, Underworld Dreams kind of does the same thing once again. Price of Knowledge. That one, that one's kind of crazy. That one also deals damage to me, uh, but it's kind of an end game thing, because that, that, that really does end the game in this. Of course, Dread Boar, just taking out stuff, Ghoul Callers. Slave of Bolas, really like that. Uh, Toil and Trouble, uh, kind of a looked over card, unless you're playing this, where it, this deals damage to target player for the number of cards in their hand, and also someone else will draw two cards and lose two life. So you can do that. Skyscribing uh, has an X on it, so pretty much I can <laughs> make people lose uh, an infinite amount of life if I have an infinite amount of mana. Uh, Cruel Ultimatum, another great one. Prosperity, uh, once again an X thing. Time Reversal, just sort of, once again I like to throw those things into people, uh, at people, and then they can't really, you know, deal with it, I guess. That's kind of what this whole deck is about. Gil, just another removal, soul manipulation, terminate. Uh, Mizium Skin, like I said, everybody wants to kill my guys. Tragic Slip, I love that one. Vision Skins, just each player draws two cards, everyone loses two life, basically. Don't worry, I'm an important person. <laughs> uh, then we're getting into some of my Planeswalkers. I got Rouser Wreck. Uh, basically, with, with him, it's all about his final that works crazy with this deck, and I do do it a lot. 
where I flip five coins and I, you know, have an upkeep for each time it lands on heads. Uh, with all the cards making me draw like a million cards, when I start my turn, I'm just drawing and drawing and drawing, and I've actually ended a couple games just because I can just have so many cards to, to go off of. Nicole Bolas, of course, you have these colors, you kind of have to use him, uh, especially because it's making people just, you know, hate their lives, and that's what this whole deck is about. Uh, Jace, this one, especially Memory Adept, another one of those cards that kind of like it's okay but with this deck it works perfect where any number of players draw uh 20 cards so i can give 20 damage to any amount of people basically if things are working out for me uh tamio with the whole maximum hand size uh really works for me and then we're getting into creatures uh, sort of the things that just kind of keep doing the same thing it just really forces the idea home because once Nekazar gets out there he's gone basically right off the bat so uh, when I have people like this uh, just like that at the beginning of their upkeep draw two cards lose two life it just keeps driving the point home same thing draw another card um, just good defense each player draws a card more good defense on those guys now this chasm skulker I haven't gotten to use but it's the whole thing of whenever I draw a card, I put a 1-1 counter on him. So, I don't know. There's something about this deck. It's so kind of like backwards and weird that these kind of cards that are like, all right, that's pretty good, but I might not use it. It's like, that's a must-have. Of course, Fog Bank, always a must-have. Uh, Baleful Strix, just a great card. Uh, once again, Hexproof. Malfagor, I have ended games with this guy too because when I when he comes into play I discard my hand each opponent sacrifices a creature for each card discarded this way I can just wipe fields basically and it's each opponent so at that point I can just swing through with my things Nat Miser, love that little guy uh, Master of Cruelties if you don't know what he does and you you've ever ran black red uh, find him and get him uh, Blood Tyrant, really good for multiple player games, just basically like that. Someone else loses, you can just have a huge guy swinging through. Bitter Heart Witch is for those curses, and I love that card. Uh, once again, another card that's like, uh, it's not that great. In this deck it works uh, with Pain Artist, Guard of um, This guy, he's just a three drop, and basically for each card in it, in uh, the opponent's hands, that's his power and toughness. So like I said, once again, in this kind of deck, this card's not really that great anymore, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> Fate Unraveler does the same thing as Nekuzar. Uh This guy, people are discarding cards left and right. When he comes into play, I get to pull for each opponent I have a card from their graveyard. I don't know. I, I've gotten some... <laughs> People really mad with that one, and that's what I kind of like to do. Uh, Jace's Archivist, uh, Archivist, or whatever. Uh, each player discards his or her hand, then draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards. A player discarded this way, another game ender, legitimately, and that's kind of what I like. Sorry, I'm extremely popular. That's I don't just know. me calling your phone. That's <laughs> Megan. <laughs> I'm uh, trying to ruin your deck tech. <laughs> Graceful Adept, uh, I have no maximum hand size. I love her. Uh, this guy, at the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent draws a card, and he's a 5-5 flyer for 3 mana. Speaking of for 3 mana, you have to have Vampire Nighthawk, um, Blue and Red Cat, whatever spells you <laughs> you have, cast one less, and uh, like that, just in a deck like this, you're trying to move super quick. Uh, really good to have. And then Locust Miser, once again. I love the, this deck just for that idea of like, okay, each opponent's hand size is reduced by two. It's a pretty good card, four mana, not that great, but in this kind of a deck, I don't know, I'm an underdog kind of guy, so I like these. Uh, so like I said, I am by no means a professional or, you know, whatever, so, and I'm sure there's some professionals out there that can help me out, and I'll do what Megan did and kind of laid out her cards 
for everyone to see because that was beautiful. So basically, just let me know in the comments below uh, what I can add, what I can take away. If it's too jumbled, I understand completely. I really do. But it's just a fun deck. I like playing it. I like making people mad. I like reminding people that they have to lose life. Uh, so once again, Tyler from the Pillow Fort, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I hope you're having a not stressful day.